Hi, Wolf of Sound on Sound here at Messe in Frankfurt with Marcel on the Antelope Audio booth. He's going to show us a new update to the Orion, right? Yeah, we kind of have a surprise for the show, a couple surprises. We have a new uh, Orion studio we're calling the 2017 edition. And physically, it's very similar to the old Orion. We have a new faceplate, uh, what we call a carbon gray faceplate. Uh, but we do we do have new A to D converters. So we've raised the game up to an industry top uh, 124 dB of dynamic range on those A to Ds, which sounds spectacular. They measure. Uh, really about as perfect as you can imagine uh, an A to D looking on the scope, so we're very pleased with that. Um, we've also made so many changes and updates, and there are some new things coming that we announced during the show uh, for Orion Studio, and, and we'll talk about Goliath HD in a minute as well. Um, we basically, all of our videos and all of our announcements we've done over the past year are pretty much all obsolete now because we have new compressors, we have a new compressor engine where we used to get up to four vintage compressors in mono, we'll now get up to 32 compressors that can also be stereo linked as well. And so you'll get, um, st and without disrupting, you're up to 40 vintage EQs. So it's really exploding the capability and these compressors, I, I've always as usual have been the first person to really beta test these and I posted some some links and, and uh, out online of, of different audio examples already. These things sound amazing. What they can do on either a two mix or a vocal on the way in. So we have two engines, a feed forward engine. So we're doing things like the new 160 compressor. Then we have a tube 176 that's coming. That's a feedback style. And these, uh, so you have 16 of each type of compressor is how it breaks down to get the, the 32. The other thing that's new is uh, our new session savings which we've recently announced but very new for 2017 so that you can save all these effects either individually and then load them into different racks or save the entire session so this makes workflow uh, exceedingly easy now to match up with your template for your session you can bring in different templates tracking templates drum tracking templates with different effect setups you can load just the effects or save just the effects or the mixers or the entire thing in one session preset so that's new as well uh, so it's a real exciting time we've also we're also uh, announced that we are going to be releasing Antelope's real-time mic modeling and mic preamp modeling so this is also going to be run on this engine that has done so well for us with these EQs and compressors we're going to take that same real-time uh, technology the FBA where we mimic the circuitry in real time not DSP not buffered and not delayed and uh, we're going to take that technology and apply it very soon to microphones and mic preamps as well so mic modeling, actual microphones with the FGPA. There will be an antelope in. microphone, a very special microphone that will be able to make sound like many different mics and mic preamps in real time. Well, that is an intriguing claim. <laughs> um, just going back to the, uh, the Orion Studio very quickly, the 2017 sure. edition. Thanks, Will. Um, can we talk about latency uh, on your real-time effects? What sort of latency are we talking about? You know, the engine runs on our FPGA circuit. So these circuits are always running, so you're not loading anything. There's no load as you add effects. So you can create an entire rack, and it's essentially a couple samples in and a couple samples out of the effects. So where it really gets significant, if you're tracking, you might be able to, you know, in a DAW, which I do, we all, we've all done, you'll load up a compressor and an EQ on a vocal track. When my vocal stack, what I load up on the, the FPGA is a Pultec style filter. I do some low cut, I do some top cut. I, I like combining a feed forward compressor. So right now I'm using a beta of our 160 compressor, which is feed forward style. And I'm also then using our FET76, which is feed back. And then I have two different EQs. And all of this is in real time as I'm tracking a vocal, doing my voiceovers or my synth pop project. Um, yeah, I do this in, in real time as I'm tracking. And the difference is astounding. And then I add the Oriverb Reverb, which is also all on the way in. So it really harkens back to the days when you had all this stuff in hardware and you're getting to track through it. And then you can do the same thing really easily from a mix. Just create an insert or a hardware insert. And later this year, we'll have some more interesting uh, uh, announcements about using our effects in a mix as well. So there's another little... Uh, a little uh, Easter egg. Yeah, a little Easter egg for you. You could think about what that might entail. <laughs> Got a thinking caps on. Um, so, how much is the uh, Orion Studio going to cost? The 2017 edition. It's around 26, 2700 euros. I, I, I always forget the dollars versus euro pricing, even though I'm based in Europe now. But yeah, it's around there. 
around the same price, maybe slightly more than the old one. And we did have a price reduction on the current model, which is a great bargain now, because you can save about $400 uh, dollars or euros buying the current model while supplies last. So, that, And that gets all of those firmware effects and control panel updates as well, and as do all of our Thunderbolt interfaces. So this is, they're all going to be updated, the Thunderbolt interfaces and the HD interfaces, to 2017 editions, as the Orion Studio is just the first of those. Okay, great. Thanks very much, Marcel. Thank you.